Okay, so let's talk about WLC. Okay, uh, we are going to cover all these today. Okay, I don't want you to have delay. So what is WLC? Okay, so let's understand about access point first. To understand WLC, what is access point? Okay, how many of you have seen wireless connectivity in their college? Kitne logo ne dekha hai office mein Wi-Fi hote hai, offices, colleges, they all have Wi-Fi all over their buildings. Like if you go to cafeteria, they have Wi-Fi. If you go to another area, they have Wi-Fi. Means in complete building, you can go anywhere you have Wi-Fi. And you do not have to connect again and again. All Wi-Fi works on one, one name only. Like suppose there is a Wi-Fi with the name NW Kings. Okay. So all access point is giving you same Wi-Fi name wherever you go. Even on first floor, second floor, third floor on building, cafeteria, anywhere, library, anywhere you go, you will have same Wi-Fi name. Okay. So how it is possible? Because these are access point. Okay. In industry, how you manage access point? Because when you have two, three, you can, you have to manually configure. So if there are two, three, like if you have three to four access point, you can configure manually. Yes or no? You can easily configure manually. But understand when you talk about a very big company, when you have 200 to 300 access point, how you will manage how you are going to set that all Wi-Fi is on this name. So then you need a controller. Then they so have a controller. So that is called WLC, wireless LAN controller. So WLC is like a controller of all the access point in offices, colleges, everywhere. So you can configure up to 5000 access point in one shot also. So WLC is nothing. This is a network device. It is used to control all the access points. Clear? So this is the very good device. Most big companies use this WLC. Dubara mein batata hu. Wi-Fi lagane aapko. Suppose you want to connect to Wi-Fi. Normally at your home, you have only one Wi-Fi device, but when you go to colleges, universities, and big companies, they have many, many Wi-Fi devices, right? Everywhere they have small Wi-Fi device in the ceiling, right? If you want, like, let me give you one example. Okay. So what is access point? So there are many access point. Like your, uh, so these routers are kind of access point also, but let me show you where we actually I'm talking about. So when you are going to join any company or maybe somewhere you have guys have seen. So these are even in hotels also, these are deployed. So you, these are access points. So everywhere in the ceiling, you will see access point in offices. Okay. So what is this access point? Like you will not have problem in Wi-Fi at your home. Suppose if you have a very big home or maybe you have uh, like your, pay, uh, your father has a business and you want proper Wi-Fi connectivity. Nowadays, there are many solutions like Wi-Fi mesh. Mesh means you can connect a three device and put down in every room. In or like in uh, in your home, in your uh, if you have small office also, so you can connect all three Wi-Fi and they will spread one Wi-Fi name. And when wherever you go, this is especially for larger home or for any big places. If you have Wi-Fi issues, okay. If you have like second floor, first floor, like this also. So this is what we call Wi-Fi mesh, okay. And it is also available in this way. It is also an access point. But this is for normal home users. This is for normal home users. This is for normal home 
okay you can easily configure from mobile application or from manually it means you can configure all these devices manually but when we talk about cisco wlc it's a industry device ye companies mein use hota this is an industry device this is not for home plans so now you can see these are hardware devices so these are called wlc wireless lan controller it is looking like same like a router but now you can see here up to 6000 access point c 8540 wireless controller can handle 6000 access point it's a very big number it means a very big headquarter office can be controlled by one wlc device okay so there are very big companies like infosys in india like if you go uh, to infosys mysore campus they have a very big campus in mysore okay they they may have around 10000 employees there to so 10000 employees honge maybe maybe they have 8 to 10000 employees so there they can have one or two 8540 wireless controller but if your company is in gurgaon delhi ncr or maybe anywhere if you need 1500 access point you can buy this 5520 if you have less requirement you can go for 3504 okay totally wlc depends how many access point you want to connect if you want to ask me the cost guys i am not a seller okay are you going to buy from me tell me <laughs> in general if you talk you can just google it it is going to be very costly Uh, so normally you will not get the price but if you try to check it is somewhere between 40000 dollars 10000 is uh, six uh, around 20 lakhs 20 to 30 lakhs one device okay let me tell you okay if you want to know about the prices let me tell you the price of this so i have worked on this router so this is my fav one of my favorite device okay tell me what should be the cost of this this is one device this is router i used to configure this but not by my hands by remotely by sitting on my laptop only i never go to the data centers and all aniket is saying 50 lakhs 25 lakhs <laughs> man this is almost more than 2 crores it is the price of ferrari now it's your choice you want to so configure these devices the same okay so these are very costly means uh, the one single module it has many modules okay if you go and check one module only takes 85000 dollars means it's a very costly it's in crores even i don't know the actual price because uh, i was not into sales team of juniper but it is it is going to be very 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 costly this is only rack only only the body part so just imagine it is like more than a ferrari now you can understand and this is these routers which i showed you used by service providers okay not by small companies it's used by big companies like jio airtel and these companies uses these devices okay now you got the point what is wlc wlc is a device which controls all access points okay sir if we have more than one different wifi so wlc yes yes anita so if you have multiple suppose you want two names in your office nw kings and nw kings 2 you can also control by wlc you can give nw kings to guest with a 10 mbps speed and you can give nw kings to all your employees with 100 mbps speed
ओके ये सो वट इज मोडम नाउ ओके आई टोल्ड यू मोडम इज अ डिवाइस विच कन्वर्ट एनालॉग सो वेन एवर यू टेक इंटरनेट कनेक्शन मोस्ट ऑफ द कनेक्शन आर एनालॉग एनालॉग मीन्स नॉर्मल प्रॉपर इफ यू टेक इफ यू सी ए केबल लाइक टेलीफोन केबल और समवेयर लाइक दैट केबल सो नॉर्मली कनेक्शन लाइक इफ यू टेक एयरटेल कनेक्शन एयरटेल इज अ सर्विस प्रोवाइडर इन इंडिया इफ यू टेक ए कनेक्शन फ्रॉम एयरटेल एंड ऑल यू सी ए फोन लाइन सो द फोन लाइन नॉर्मली लैंडलाइन फोन आर ऑन एनालॉग सिग्नल्स सो एयरटेल हैज अ डिवाइस विच दे वी कॉल दिस वाई फाई राउटर ऑल्सो सो इट इज अ मिक्स ऑफ राउटर एंड मोडम इट इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट एनालॉग सिग्नल इन टू डिजिटल सिग्नल सो वाई वी हैव मोडम एंड वाई वी कन्वर्ट एनालॉग टू डिजिटल एनी वन टेल मी येस्टरडे वी डिस्कस आई थिंक सो दैट माई कंप्यूटर्स कैन एक्चुअली और माई लैपटॉप कैन अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज माई पी सी माई लैपटॉप ओनली अंडरस्टैंड डिजिटल सिग्नल्स नॉट एनालॉग सिग्नल्स this is why we have modem modem means modulation demodulation modulation demodulation means converting your analog signal to digital signal and digital signal to analog signal yeah okay very simple no need to go deep dive about modems this is a just a simple device okay so repeater we discussed yesterday also like if you have a building where uh, you want to boost the signal like copper cable has a limit of how much meters 100 meters okay if you want one computer to connect with another computer but distance is 150 meter so what you will do you will buy a repeater but repeaters are also not in use we also don't use repeater there are some wifi repeaters but normal hardware cable repeaters uh, yes it's available but mostly people don't use because it actually degrade the quality so repeater in short repeater is a booster signal booster so whenever signal goes down repeater regenerate the signal what is repeater repeater always remember repeater regenerate the signals regenerate the weak signals very simple that's it okay router never convert analog to digital but yes there are some modules which can convert but router also uh, depends on the module when we talk about normal cable set router also accept digital okay so what is load balancer guys last two device then you are ready to go so what is load balancer okay load balancer is something which is very important for industry and every network engineer needs to learn load balancer there are many companies there is one famous company f5 f5 only f5 and they have a product called f5 ltm local traffic manager so what happens so suppose you have only one server but from internet there are many 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 users are using your mobile application and you have a lot much traffic on one server what will happen the users will complain they are not getting proper service right so what company will do they will have buy one another server or maybe one another server one another server right so like suppose uh, facebook instagram billions of user upload so facebook not will not have only one server okay like uh, 
many applications where like uh, if you use ghana.com or maybe itunes.com if you listen music on uh, ghana.com or uh, spotify.com so many user when they listen music so their servers are not only one they have multiple server so this f5 ltm what f5 or this ltm load balancer it is load balancer so what will happen whenever request come it will send to the first server second request come it will go to second server third request will go to third server fourth request will go to fourth now fifth request will again go to first server so means it is going to load balance the traffic and there is a special different like a uh, certification on f5 local traffic manager courses also we do provide trainings but it's not for you as of now after ccna you guys can learn those advanced things but as of now it's now for you but load balancer is to load balance the traffic load balance the traffic theek hai to abhi main thode doubt le lu kuch reh gaye hon kuch logo ke yes pinku tell me yes pinku prashant hello yeah pinku tell me sir i want to know, ask a question that uh, sir as you discuss uh, that uh, dj can connect two to three devices then it uh, this device also maintain mac address table which device hub uh, which bridge which? yeah bridge store mac address okay bridge will bridge store mac address of all the computers because left side we have three devices right side we have three computers so six computers sharing data with each other right they are connected with hub we took the example so all computers whenever they send traffic with the help of bridge so bridge will store all the mac address but even i never configured bridges because when i started learning ccn and all 11 12 years back even that time also bridge was not in use 12 saal pehle bhi bridge use nahi ho raha tha okay it is that much older so you can ignore right now sir uh, what is bandwidth can you explain it yeah yeah i'll explain don't worry okay bandwidth mein bataunga kya hota hai so these things uh, please keep a note and i'll answer this tomorrow ha uh, prashant tell me yeah virna i'll explain so see load balancer like suppose you have a mobile application but if you have only one server and if traffic is too much suppose youtube has only one server and there are millions of user so will they able to manage youtube.com no they need more servers so this is why load balance just see the name what load balance the load of traffic so first like we four people pinku prashant santosh and me so whenever we request youtube.com first request go to first server second to second server so it will load balance the traffic so that one server will not have too much load so tell me when we actually drive on national highways we have four lane eight lane why we have to hum jab जाते हैं बड़ी दिल्ली से मुंबई और बिगर हाईवे नेशनल हाईवे वाई वी हैव फोर लेन एट लेन टू रिड्यूस कंजेशन टू कंट्रोल ट्रैफिक राइट सो दैट इट विल नॉट हैव ट्रैफिक बिकॉज नेशनल हाईवेज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैफिक तो कोई ट्रैफिक जैम ना लग जाए और यू गाइज कैन इजिली रीच टू योर डेस्टिनेशन इन लिमिटेड टाइम this is why they have eight lane four lane in road right so the same way load balancer is going to help you to manage your traffic because one day when your company is famous like tiktok or maybe any application so they have billions of user millions of users now load balancer is going to load balance the traffic
सुने वी नेवर यूज ब्रिज ब्रो आई टोल्ड ब्रिज हब रिपीटर जस्ट इज ए थ्योरी पार्ट डोंट रिलेट टू द रियल टेक्नोलॉजी वी नेवर यूज हब ब्रिज रिपीटर इन रियल वर्ल्ड 